Yeah. So there's a lot of people from my last video saying that uh, nothing's coming, nothing's gonna happen, I'm paranoid. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna tell you like this. This is where I'm working, okay? I'll read that. This is where I'm working right now. The man who owns that company, I'll say Shelon Tusk. You know, y'all know Shelon Tusk. Find the rhyme, the rhythm. He has us working 12 hour shifts, seven days a week. I'm an electrician. I wire up all the machinery that they're using to build the trucks. I'm wiring up all the machinery that they are using to build these robots, okay? We are working 12 hours, seven days a week. I have worked for TikTok. I have worked for Amazon. I have worked for Samsung. I have worked for Fortune 500 companies all year. Nobody is pushing their people like this, okay? 12 hour shifts. He is trying to complete this for something. I promise you, bro, soon as these robots go online, it will kill 80% of the job force. All you people driving trucks in restaurants who don't think this can happen in Japan, they already have robots serving tables. They already have nurses that are being robotically projected from monitors to help patients. Your job is not safe, okay? 80% of the workforce will be killed by these robots. And as soon as he puts these AIs inside of these robots, I promise you, bro, they will think, be smarter, faster, and they do not need to sleep, bro. We call in. I called in three days ago because I worked six days straight. Robots don't do that, and that's what they are pushing for, bro. Have you sitting at home with the real ID, with your Fed now money, taking free governmental universal income, slave, bro. Victim to the system, bro. They do not want you out here moving how you want. They do not want you collecting resources. They don't want, they don't want you to do anything without their knowledge, bro. They wanna track every transaction. They wanna track your whereabouts. They wanna know what you're thinking, bro. And all they wanna do is monetize and commercialize that. It's that mark of the beast. The mark of the beast is taking things that should not be for money or for sale and making them for sale, like your soul, love, things of that nature, bro. And y'all say that it's not coming, bro. It's right around the corner. I promise you, bro, this is coming. Where I'm working right now has proven that. This man sends drones on the top of the buildings, drones inside the building to count how many people are working at all times. This is not a game, bro. I'm telling you, this is, this is just his company, bro. Imagine what they're doing. Like Facebook, all these companies are together. They're acting like they're competitors. They're not. They all have one agenda, bro. And each of them are doing their part. I promise you. I need y'all to really think about this, bro. They're building bulletproof trucks with robots. I don't know if you've seen it, but look it up. Recently, a guy just got pulled over in Dubai by a cyber truck police, and it had a robot in it, and the robot gave him a ticket for using his phone and not being buckled up. And they sent the fine to his phone. I promise you, bro, these cars are not for normal civilians. You do not make bulletproof trucks for civilians. He is going to supply and fleet out the military and the police force, bro. We will not be able to run and hide. They've already stopped making V8 engines and trucks, and the Chargers are no more Hellcats or Hemis being produced. They're all V6s. We will not be able to escape this shit, bro. I promise you, bro, these robots are going to take your job. They're going to be police forced. They're going to be the new revolution, bro. And we're going to be on our asses like idiocracy. I promise.